assalamu alaikum students the topic for the video is speed let us see what is speed how fast an object is traveling is called its speed so if the object is moving slowly the speed is less if the object is moving fast the speed of an object is more so more speed that is higher speed lower speed if we specify speed in a direction then it's called as velocity the formula for speed is distance divided by time so speed is distance upon time let us see the units for deriving speed this speed is distance divided by time so let's see what are the units of speed of distance first distance can be calculated in kilometer meter centimeter or millimeter so for numerical purpose we usually use the units for distance as kilometer or meter the units for time are hours minutes and seconds so one hour is 60 minutes one minute is 60 seconds so these are the two conversions which you should know for calculating speed so the units used for numericals for time are hours minutes or seconds so let us see the actual definition of speed and how to derive its units speed is the distance traveled per unit time here per unit means divide that is upon so distance upon time that is distance traveled per unit time is speed so if we take the units of distance as kilometer and if we take time the units of time as hour the units for speed will be kilometer per hour if we take distance in meters and time in seconds then the units of speed will be meter per second so if we want to calculate speed we have to use the units as meter per second or kilometer per hour. Now let us see how to calculate speed. Let's take an example here. A man walks 20 kilometers in 4 hours find his speed that is find the speed of the man while he's walking so here if you see 20 kilometer as we discussed kilometer is the unit of distance that means with the units we can guess that yes 20 kilometer is the distance so given distance covered is 20 kilometers in 4 hours here hours is the unit for time so time taken or time for the man to walk is the total time he walked is 4 hours so here distance and time are given distance is 20 kilometer time is 4 hours so kilometer and hour we have to find its speed let us calculate speed for the man we know the formula for speed is distance divided by time 
we substitute the values of distance and time. The distance covered by man is 20, so it will be 20 divided by time is given as 4 hours. So it will be 20 divided by 4. So 20 divided by 4 gives us 5. 4 5s are 20. So when we divide 20 by 4, we get 5. So hence our speed, the speed of the man is 5 kilometer per hour. Here the units of speed will be kilometer per hour as distance was given in kilometer and time was given in hour. So in this manner, by knowing the values of distance and time, we can find the speed of an object. Let us take one more example now. A car travels a distance of 500 km. So here it's clearly specified that the distance covered by the car is 500 km. So given distance is 500. A car travels a distance of 500 km in 10 hours. Hours means the hours is the unit of time. So here time is given as 10 hours. What is its speed in kilometer per hour? Obviously the speed will be in kilometer per hour as the distance is given in kilometer and the time is given in hour. So the answer what we get will have the units kilometer per hour. So how do we solve this? We first write the formula for speed. Speed is distance divided by time. Our distance the distance covered by the car in this sum is 500. So we substitute the value of distance as 500 divided by time. Time is 10 hours, so divided by 10. 500 divided by 10, 0, 0 gets cancelled up and down or 10 50s are is 100, so is 500. So we get 500 divided by 10 as 50. So the speed of the car will be 50 km per hour. Let us take one more example now. Aaron ran 50 meter in 100 seconds. So here 50 meter, meter is the units for distance so distance covered by Aaron is 500 meters so given distance is 500 meter so he covered Aaron covered 500 meter in 100 seconds so your time is given as 100 seconds so distance is in meter and time is in seconds we have to find the speed in meter per second so to find speed we need to write the formula for speed first so speed is distance divided by time we write the formula first now we substitute the values of distance and time distance is 500 so 500 divided by time time is 100 so 500 divided by 100 is 5 so 100 5 za is 500. So speed of Aaron is 5. Now what will be the units of speed here? Distance was as distance was in meter. Time was in second. So the units for speed will be meter per second. So finally we get the answer. Speed of Aaron is 5 meter per second. So in this way, we can find speed using the formula distance divided by time and the units of speed can be in kilometer per hour or meter per second.